episode 29. It's settled. We're having a martial arts match. And the team captain is stronger than Goku. Mm-hmm. I'm Spike. And I'm Foxy. Warning. If you haven't seen the episode yet, turn it off now. There will be spoilers. Okay? So you're still here? Let's get Great. going. Now, this week on Dragon Ball, we start with, we're at Beerus and, and Champa talking about the terms of this tournament that's coming up. Mm -hmm. They also talk about mm -hmm. when this tournament's going to happen. It's going to happen in five days. Uh-huh. Five. Also, with setting the terms of this, it's going to be in five days. And we also know that there's going to be five members to each team. And this mm -hmm. is going to happen on a nameless planet uh -huh. with no atmosphere. So in this episode, after Champa leaves, he goes and sets up the playing field. He goes to this nameless planet and sets up the tournament. He sets up the stands, the stage, uh, the fighting arena where they're going to set up the concession, even mm -hmm. two mirrors on each side, one for Beerus and one for Shampa. Yeah. Now, now the pictures, now those look even better than the pictures in the movie. I mean, the episodes. C the designing, it's, oh. it's just incredible. Oh, I... Compared to what they actually look like in the show. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Yeah, they look really, really nice. And uh I thought the way that they set up the whole playing field. So they build like this dome. They build like this big old like biodome looking thing so they can create atmosphere. Uh-huh. Because if they don't create atmosphere, anyone that goes on that planet will obviously, you know, die, suffocate. They're gonna be like Ugh. So, while this is going on, Vegeta, Goku, Bulma, and Beerus and Weez are on Earth. Uh -huh. And they're talking about getting the last Super Dragon Ball. Uh -huh. And in order to do this, Bulma comes up with this idea that if we get all the Dragon Balls together, that we can ask Shenron where the remaining Super Dragon Ball is. Now, here is a funny scene that you might want to watch again where um he he where Shenron is complaining and he's like ah, how how come every time you guys awaken me from the Dragon Balls Beerus is here ah, You're driving my head crazy but no I cannot do it I cannot do what your wish is. And then he said, but what is your, but what is another one of your wishes you want? And then Beerus is just like, my wish is for you to go away. So after, after Vegeta gets the dragon radar and just <laughs> all over the planet, getting all these... If yeah. you've noticed in this episode, and if you've been watching and paying attention to Dragon Ball, you've noticed that there's a big difference in Vegeta's personality and Goku's personality since Universe 6 arc started. Goku is more laid... I think Goku is more laid back than he's ever been before. I, I think normally Goku's got kind of this laid back, kind of carefreeness. I think that's kind of been amplified a bit. I think he's a little more careless, mm -hmm. a little more carefree than he's ever been. And at the same time, I think Vegeta is more determined, focused, and calm, relaxed, yet determined than he's ever been in Dragon Ball. Yeah. And, and especially anytime Beerus tells him to do something or wants him to do something, he's, you know, yes, sir, no, sir, thank you, ma'am, you know. It's, it's, uh... and, and Beerus calls him his little errand boy. Ah! So, 
Beer, uh, so go, so so Vegeta goes and collects all these Dragon Balls, and he's and he's not even he's collecting them all, and he gets them together. And while he's doing all this, Bulma leans in to give him a kiss, and she's like, "Oh, thank you for all your hard work." And she goes to give him a smooch, and he's like, "Oh, what are you doing, woman? Seriously, what are you doing? We're trying to do something here. I'm focusing. seriously." Ah! Seriously, so, what are you doing kissing me at a time like this? I'm tired. <laughs> so, so he, they collect all the Dragon Balls and they summon Shenron. And so, and and like she was saying, yeah. Beerus, yeah, or when Shenron comes out, he's like, oh, why is Beerus always here when you guys are making wishes now? Yeah. You gotta understand, we have Shenron of Earth, the Earth's, you know, yeah. Dragon Ball guardian dragon. Uh-huh. And then you have... The God of Destruction, Beerus. So, every time Beerus shows up and Shenron is summoned, he's always sweating and, like, panicking. So they ask him. They're like, okay, Shenron, we want to know where this last Super Dragon Ball is. Do you know where it is? And because Shenron's power is only limited to planetary Earth-like power. He can't reach that far out into other universes and tell you where the Super Dragon Balls are. Uh Uh-huh. So, like she was saying, Beerus is pretty much like, uh, you know, we have no use for you. Goodbye. Yeah. My only wish is for you to go away. Yeah, and then Goku's complaining, and then he's like, ah, I forgot to bring King Kai back. Yeah, so King Kai and... He's like, oh, man, Goku, you messed up again <laughs> you have failed me don't fail again no so king guy is still on his planet still with his halo yeah so, so from there champa is still setting up the tournament still setting up the the atmosphere and everything so yeah. their plan is in order to acquire the the last of the the dragon balls they have to come up or the the last of the super dragon balls they have to get this super dragon radar. Uh-huh. Before Beerus leaves. This is probably one of the most important things in the whole episode and probably in all of Dragon Ball. Beerus says that... He wishes... That too. Oh. The annihilation of the universe. Like, once he gets... The Super Dragon Balls to annihilate everything. Now, he says it in a very joking manner. (coughs) Obviously, because he's the god of destruction. But from, like, Goku's point of view, it doesn't really bother him. Vegeta. He's he's just like, hey, he's just joking. But Bulma Bulma takes this really, really seriously. She's like, oh my gosh, if Beerus gets his way, then that means the end of everyone. Everywhere. Everyone! Even me! So. I could go like that. So, let us know your thoughts, feelings, questions below. Also want to give a shout out to uh, my Dragon Ball Super Group on Facebook, Dragon uh-huh. Ball Super Squad. You know, come check us out. Uh-huh. You know, we're always talking about the latest and newest stuff on Dragon Ball Super. Um, yep. And like I said, let, let us know your thoughts, feelings, questions below. And uh, let us know what you think about what's going on. And yep. what you think is going to happen with Dragon Ball Super. What you think Gohan's new form is going to be. Uh-huh. And who you think is going to win this tournament. Okay? Because uh-huh. Goku really doesn't care. Because if Be- if Champa wins, then they're just going to go over to the Sixth Universe. So Beerus is, really wants to make sure he wins this. So... Yep, because he wants to keep her. He wants to keep the delicacies. He wants to keep it all to himself. He can be greedy sometimes. So like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching our review. I'm Spike. And I'm Foxy. And as always, Fusion!